to make a sustainable coffee in practical terms means producing a coffee that is uh, responsible for the family involved in the production, for the environment, and also is a coffee that is done in this particular case in the framework of a project where some company like in this case Lavazza is and offer the means to produce the coffee in a better way, in a more sustainable way. The first and most important instrument that we offer is know-how. Know-how and training. We give uh, quality trainings to farmers to improve on the quality. Yeah, we also collect information like marketing information. We avail this information to farmers. The demo plot is a piece of land. We donated the plants, we donated the input to prepare this, uh, this plot. And this is a plot where all the techniques that we say should be done are actually done in the plot. So the advantage is that uh, the grower, they can see in practical terms what the results are by doing this or by doing that. Nursery is another fundamental aspect of the project because we need here in Tanzania an important large quantity of new plants because there are too many trees that are old, have to be substituted, because there are too many trees that are not resistant to disease, and so they have to be changed. One of the important steps in this project has been to organize and to set up a decentralized pulping unit. The possibility of pulping the coffee in, in one centralized unit and not as it is done today at every single producer home gives the possibility to dramatically increase the quality of the coffee because that is a very, very delicate and critical part of the processing. So the possibility of doing that in a uniform way and under professional condition is fundamental in order to get a better product. <laughs> 